In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear people of God, in the season of Christmas, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels, to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in the manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against him until the glorious redemption brought to us by the Holy Child Jesus. And let us celebrate the remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church here in our country and in this diocese of Ogdensburg. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and that whole multitude no one can number whose hope was the word made flesh and with whom in Jesus we are evermore. And now let us sum up these petitions by praying in the words our Savior gave us. Together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the Lord, King of the angels, bring us all. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or high as the sky. But it has answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then he said, Listen, house of David, is it not enough that you weary human beings? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign, the young woman pregnant and about to bear a son shall name him Emmanuel. A short shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his words a bad shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by his say shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide fairly for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the word of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the land, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall graze, together the young shall lie down. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the viper's den, and the child lay his hand on the other's lair. They shall not harm or destroy 
on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord, as water covers the sea. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service has ended, that her guilt is expiated, that she has received from the hand of the Lord double all her sins. A voice proclaims in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every fire shall be rifted up, every mountain and hill made low. The rugged land shall be a plain, the rough country a broad fire. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, 
and all flesh shall see it together. For the mount of the Lord has spoken. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of good news. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Cry out, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him. His recompense before him, like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lamb, carrying them in his bosom, leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. 
Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. But Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu, in olivibus, et benedictus fructus ventris, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. where she entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God our Savior. For he has looked upon it his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The mighty one has done great things for me, and hold is his name. He has mercy from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his promise of mercy, according to the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his descendants forever. Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magnificat Fecit potentiam in brachivos suo, 
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was the governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting upon them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to, f to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did not accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God's. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received, grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. This is the word of the Lord.
Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May he who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly bestow upon you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.